All right, let's go. The WF Hospital grew from a small hospital in Boston to an almost 200-acre developmental center. But as it became more well-known, the horrifying dark secrets and history began to leak through and expose the poster child of mental hospitals. In 1848, the WF Hospital was founded by Samuel Gridley Howey, an American physician. It was originally founded in Boston, but moved location in 1888. It was an educational developmental center for the mentally and physically challenged. It went by many names in the past, one of the names including the words idiotic children. The hospital was housed on a massive complex of 72 buildings across 196 acres of land. Around 20 of those buildings are now demolished. At the peak of the school, approximately 2,500 patients lived on campus, which became too many for the staff to manage. To the public, the WF Hospital seemed like a perfect place to get help, support, and education. But the deeper we go into these buildings, the darker the history becomes. Originally, it was advertised as a school for boys with low intelligence, but later reports done by the Boston Globe proved that more than half of the students there had a normal IQ. The superintendent of the school was a firm believer in eugenics. Eugenics is the practice of selective breeding to improve the genetic quality of the human population. During the 1920s, the WF Hospital became a poster child for the American eugenics movement and was later the scene of medical experiments. In the 20th century, the living conditions were awful. Approximately 36 children slept in each dorm room. There were also many reports of sexual and physical abuse of the patients. The WF Hospital was involved in several different experiments that used the residents and students as test subjects. From 1946 to 1953, the WF Hospital, in collaboration with Harvard University, MIT, and the Quaker Oats Company, was the site of many illegal experiments on young children. They wanted to see if various radioactive materials would help fix the kids in the hospital. The boys were encouraged to join a science club, which was advertised as offering food, parties, and trips to the Red Sox games. 57 of these boys soon realized that it was an experiment to expose these young children to radioactive materials and environments. Neither the children nor the parents ever gave consent to participate in these studies. In one experiment, the members of the science club ate radioactive cereals and milk for breakfast almost every day. In another experiment, 17 of the boys received iron supplement shots that contained radioactive isotopes. Throughout the years, the conditions at the WF Hospital were only getting worse, with many people wanting to get out, but not being able to mentally or physically. Okay. Yep. The whole situation changed in the 1970s, when a class action lawsuit was filed in an attempt to improve the living conditions at the WF Hospital and many other state mental hospitals. Although this case was never fully acknowledged by the state, it did have a hopeful effect on the WF Hospital. The result for the residents took effect in 1993, when they were promised a guaranteed level of care regardless of cost to compensate for decades of neglect and abuse. In 1998, after another lawsuit, the victims of the Science Club were given $1.85 million in a settlement from MIT and Quaker. Going into the early 2000s, two buildings on the property were the only ones in use. They were advertised as a center for mentally disabled adults and an attempt at rebranding the WF Hospital name. There were approximately 300 adults living on the WF property in 2001, averaging an age of 47 years old. In 2003, Mitt Romney announced the WF hospital would be closed and sold to the town, but there were many campaigns later that year to save the hospital, and you can still see some posters around the property. 
In 2007, the hospital was ordered to decrease the size and focus on better care for the patients. Also in 2007, a documentary on the hospital was released called Frontwards Backwards. Fast forwards a few years to June of 2013. The hospital remained open with only 13 people living on the grounds. The oldest resident was 84 and lived there since they were 19. People spent their entire lives here because there was nowhere else they could go. The last resident of the WF hospital was released on November 13, 2014. The land was then purchased by the city and now sits abandoned waiting to be demolished. The WF Hospital was a place advertised for mental patients, mostly children, to get help and support. But behind the scenes, we see the worst example of the dark and disgusting history of mental hospitals. The gruesome mysteries of the hospital are being solved to this day, and some big parts still remain unknown. <laughs>